Hi, I'm David Hobbs. I'm the principal trumpet player of the Chattanooga Symphony and Opera Orchestra. And uh, we are playing the Vivaldi Concerto for Two Trumpets this weekend at the Sheraton Reed House. And uh, we'd like for everyone to come and, and hear us play. Uh, but first, let me tell you a little bit about the piece itself. Uh, it's a Baroque piece from the period uh, between the Renaissance and the Classical. Uh, it was in the same time as Bach uh, and Torelli and Telemann, uh, all those composers lived about the same time as Vivaldi. Uh, the Vivaldi Concerto for Two Trumpets is similar uh, in a lot of ways uh, to those composers, uh, but uh, a friend of mine refers to Vivaldi in general as the composer of sewing machine music. And by that, I mean you will hear a lot of things like pop, 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 just over and over and over. So it's like the up and down motion of the needle of a sewing machine. The Concerto for Two Trumpets of Vivaldi employs what is known as ornamentation. And ornamentation is something a little bit extra. It's like, it, it means, uh, I lived a long time in Louisiana and the word for it there is lanyap and it means a little bit something in addition to what you normally expect. And by this I mean that in addition to what Vivaldi wrote, it is acceptable for the performers to add a trill or a mordant or some other type of, of little freely uh, compositional uh, add-on to the, the piece. Concerto is in three sections. And as is typical of Baroque period music, the middle section of the piece, normally we would call that the second movement, uh, is devoid of trumpets. And uh, one reason is uh, sometimes in that period you had a tr uh, trumpet that, uh, well, tr trumpets in general did not have valves and you had to have time to uh, take out one slide and put another one in so you could change the key of the instrument. Uh, for example, if you were going to play a piece in the key of D, which is what the Vivaldi Trumpet Concerto in, uh, for Two Trumpets is, um, you would have to have a D slide or a D crook. Um, and that would allow you to play certain notes that were in the key of D. If you change keys to another key, like E flat, you would have to employ a different crook for that trumpet. There were no valves. Uh, so you either made your trumpet longer or shorter to achieve the key that you wanted to play in by use of the crooks. So, a second movement in a Baroque piece usually was devoid of trumpets because you needed time to change the, the crook. Uh, but the trumpets play on the first movement and the third movement. The first trumpet player plays one thing and then the second trumpet player plays the same thing back to the first trumpet player. So in a lot of ways it's like a question answer. Um, although sometimes it feels more like the question, the question, rather than the question than the answer.